everyone. I'm in my art room. Carol's here today to do a, I'm gonna do a um, cloudy pour. A spiral pour, hopefully that turns into cloudy, the cloudy effect like Melly D does. Um, I've tried to, once before, didn't work, so I've got a different kind of paint now. I found some of my house paint that was um, enamel. It's a light, light gray, so I mixed it with my white artist loft and we'll see what happens. So I've got 11 by 14 canvas. Let's see what's in this, something's in this cup. Need a clean cup. So I'm gonna pour. I've got. I'll tell you the colors right now. Then, I've got Deco Art Baby Blue. I use the whole bottle. I've got Artist Loft Level Two Phalo Blue. I also have my, oh, there, there it is, Royal Fuchsia Deco Art Americana. I use the whole thing again. And then I have my Artist Loft White, which is this flow acrylic white. And then I've mixed it with some um, enamel, satin enamel paint that I have. So I've mixed half and half, half Artist Loft and half the enamel. And then I added some pouring medium, which was like, I'll, say, say, I'll show you like, like that, that's it. Not a lot. And then water to thin it down. So that's the consistency. It uh, make, when you hold it up like that, it makes a indent, not a puddle. And they're all, so the other colors don't have the enamel paint, just the white. The others are just um, pouring medium, just a little squirt, and paint, and water. And I've thinned them down. So I'm just hoping this is thin enough. All right, so I'm gonna pour some white paint on the canvas. This is just plain artist loft with water and food and um, pouring medium. I need a little more. If I don't get the cloudy effect, then I'll have a nice spiral pour. A lot of air bubbles in this because I really shook this paint good.
I'll just rub my sides with the white paint. covered now. All right, so I got my cup. I'll just set my cup there. Now I have the dark phalo blue. I'm going to put that in the bottom. And I'm going to pour the white down the side. some more weight down the side. I'm not sure how much of this weight to use. I don't think I'm going to use it all. So I got quite a bit of paint here. Melly D says, go for it. Well, I'm worried. I'm worried that it won't work. I'm going to go this way. So let's cross our fingers.
this is going to be cloudy. I don't see anything happening. So maybe my enamel paint won't work. Well, I'm going to have a nice... Uh, spiral pour. I think I'm going to pour some more in the middle. All right, let's go for it. Nope. Just my husband asking me if anybody called. Why did I put that big white thing in the middle? Why did I do that? Oh, it's beautiful. I hope I have enough that I can... I just saw a hair. One of my hairs. Something's happening here. Yeah, I'll just pour that off. That's looking nice. Nice. I like it. I'm sorry I did that, but... There's some lots of stuff happening right here. Well, that pink came out nice. What do you think? Think I should just leave that? I think I'll just leave that. I'm not going to play with it anymore. I don't know what possessed me to pour that white in the middle. I think I thought there was going to be enough paint, but it's fine. There was tons of paint. So this is like a maybe an eight ounce cup. Did this whole canvas. Whoa, look at that. Oh, I think I have to do another one. This is awesome. This is awesome. Lots of paint left over, but hey. I don't. That looks pretty there. I'll hold it up for you. I'm just mesmerized by it all. I 
think it's going to start, it'll change a little bit as it sits. So <clears throat> I'll come back later and I'll put the dry results at the end. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Come back for more. I'll do some more of these. Have a great day. Please subscribe to Carol Penhale King. Bye. Okay, here's the dried results from my first tried to do a um, cloud pour spiral. I only got a few little white cells. Anyway, that's how it turned out. Dried nice and smooth. It's pretty. I like it. But that was the last. No luck yet. I'll uh, see what I can do with some different paints. Bye-bye.